you think how important in that first half of the, when the offense was kind of struggling to get going that the defense kind of kept it close and kept you guys in it? Yeah, I think it's it's huge. You know that we had a defense that was able to step up and you know make plays when we had to and. Uh, you know, we, we took a step forward today, and now it's something we need to build on. I think we, we got off the quarterback pretty well today. Um, you know, obviously had a couple of mistakes, a couple of times where we wish we were better, but uh, overall, I think that our defense made a lot of strides. From a consistent four-quarter basis for you guys, well, I think it was, I think it was pretty consistent. You know, there were times when you know, we it felt like it seemed like almost every time someone was winning, this one guy was winning. Um, there were just a couple of times that we couldn't quite finish it off, but uh, I mean, we had we had quite a few sacks. I mean, how many do we have? Does anyone know? Five. So five sacks. I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, obviously, you know, more is the more the merrier. But you know, it's something we'll just keep continuing to build on. You know, it all starts with our preparation. The last couple of weeks, your pressure on the quarterback has gotten better. I mean, what do you attribute that to? Just going through the season, guys getting comfortable with each other, or is something yeah. tangible happening? Yeah, I think that. Um, you know, once we, we learn to, to work well off of each other and uh, just kind of you, you get more of a feel for your own line, guys get more confidence, uh, and then things just start kind of falling into place. You know, that, I, I knew from the beginning of the year, you know, that you know, turnovers, sacks, that was all going to come. And uh, when they come, they come in bunches. And it's just happy to see that that was able to happen today. You guys, you guys always put pressure on yourself to be a good defensive unit. Do you guys, have you guys put more pressure on yourself this year to be an even stronger unit with the amount of guys we have returning? I, I'd say that we put more of an emphasis on, on being a more productive defensive line. Uh, I don't think I don't think pressure is necessarily the right word, but um, you know, we we expected to come out and be more productive this year. Speaking of sacks, talk about yours today. <laughs> uh, it just was one of those things. Uh, just got a reaction from the O-line. I was able to take the guy in the backfield, uh, fell off and got a hold of his legs, and I wasn't going to let go on that. But, uh, yeah, it was fun. It was a pretty exciting thing. How important is it that your defensive ends, the FDNs are just healthy, and you got all doing back today, and Tipple's been playing really strongly. How important is that group? I'm yeah, just having, having guys that you know are able to come back from injuries and be able to contribute right away is huge, you know. Uh, obviously, injuries are just a part of the game, but uh, it was. I was glad to see that you know we had some defense events come back and contribute today. What kind of challenges does she -Hulls, she -Hulls give you as for the scrambling ability? Yeah, he's a very mobile quarterback. He's very talented. Uh, he's a guy that we had to respect, but at the same time, we didn't want to pass rush scared. Uh, so you know, we came into this game knowing that you know we were aggressive, but you know. Um, Cautiously aggressive, I guess, is the best way to put it. And you know, there were a couple of times where he was even able to get out and you know make some plays with his feet. But for the most part, we were able to keep him in check. Obviously, you faced a dual threat guy last week too. What do you think you took away from that game, and then maybe applied to, to this week's game? Well, I think that um, you know having faced a guy like uh, Martinez last week, you know we kind of you know, got ourselves in the mindset where you know we we wanted to contain him more, uh, and this week we wanted to pressure more. Uh, we didn't want to pass us scared, I think is the best way to put it. So you know, we came into this game with a more aggressive ma mindset and attitude, and uh, we were very happy that it paid off for us. And do you think that aggressiveness is just why you guys are pretty much able to keep pressure on Shieldhouse for the whole game? I think it played a part in it. I think that uh, you know, just the way we prepared helped us a lot. We kind of knew what games would work and what uh, the best way to get pressure on him was. Uh, I think that our preparation played a huge part in why we were able to be so successful today. And do you think those adjustments you made after last week worked out pretty well today? Jared, yeah, I think they. I think they were. Uh, I think us being a little bit more aggressive helped us today, definitely. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, a couple team defensive MVPs for you in the last couple of weeks. I hear. Yeah. What does that mean to you? Yeah, it's it's just cool, you know. I had a couple of decent games, I guess. Yeah, I wasn't expecting anything like that. Uh, you know, the the life of a D tackle is kind of um, at times not as glorious as we would like. Or, uh, but you know, the last few weeks we've been able to play well enough where you know been able to get a little bit of attention. But uh, I'm thankful for that. But at the same time, I know that the other guys around me, you know, were making plays too, and that's what allowed me to get in position to make the ones I did. Um, how much do you guys? You know, there's still some goals out there for you guys. Uh, mm -hmm. They're pretty much all within reach, aren't they? Yeah. You? Yeah. Uh, you know, we just try to take it one game at a time, but you know, also keep the big picture in mind. You know, we're, we we kind of control our own destiny, and so you know, we're obviously looking forward to Purdue. You know, we're gonna win on the road, which has been a struggle for us the last few games, but um, something that you know, with our preparation, our daily preparation, we should be able to come up with a good game plan and a good mindset to go into there.